continuing from our previous step video tutorial today we will illustrate you about error handlers so this is error handle which is passed with an error object if geolocation api couldn't find the location of the user so the error handle is passed with an error object which contains a error code and an error message corresponding to the error code so to make the user understand the error we custom type the error messages some of the error messages the error code start from 0 to 3 0 stands for some unknown error 1 stand for if a user denies the permission and 2 is for position unable to locate the user's position and the error code 3 indicates well 3 indicates request timed out we will talk about request timed out in our next video so for now let's see about other errors from 0 to 2 for request timed out we will set an option to customize it later on so this variable error message is what we are going to output to the user now error type we will see what exactly the error code is we will just match against the error code 0 to 3 which we typed in just now and whichever it matches we will show the error messages if the error is permission denied we can understand other than that if it is an unknown error or position of the user not available these two error messages could have some other reasons too unknown error means we don't know exactly what the error is position of the user not available means we could even tell the user why is it that the position of the user is not available so for these two error codes 0 and 2 we will also include the error dot message that is the property message of the object error along with the custom error message we are we have typed inside error type object so our variable errmsg i'll just concatenate it to the error message given by the error object which is passed on to get current position method by geolocation api so now output the error message to the browser inside our paragraph tag so that's it if there is any error that is if geolocation api couldn't track the user's position on earth one of these error codes 0 to 3 will be passed on and the corresponding message will be output to the user's browser to test this out turn off your modem if you are on desktop computer and then try to access this page via your local host that means you have to keep your local server on so if the error message error code is 0 or 2 you could even output the error message sent by the geolocation api so let's test this so the error message is position of the user not available because i have turned off my modem and there is no way to the html5 api that is geolocation api to track my position so this is error handling that is the error handler of geolocation api so please practice this in our next video we will integrate this this very code with google maps that is google map api please pass on this video to your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon etc 
stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel for our previous videos please visit technotip.com and html section there and also like this video on youtube